Mirror. This was a major military hub. I can detect the remains of staging grounds and logistic networks. With all those broken plateaus, this area would have been easier to defend. This is bad news for me, I will have to take those defenses out if I want to continue that way. Whoever they were fighting, it was not going well. There is evidence of raids even here, the front line would not have been far. Main objectives. Destroy the enemy commander and rover assembly. Protect your commander. Bonus objectives. Build four conjurers. Destroy the enemy impaler. Build four imps. This AI seems to rely on raiding squads of scorchers. Good thing I had time for scavenging, those imp EMP bombs will be helpful for shutting them down. Imp EMP bombs will stun any nearby units when they explode. They are mostly a defensive tool, and don't kill anything themselves, so make sure you have other units like Reavers to finish the job. The Scorcher's heat ray weapon is incredibly lethal at point-blank range. Destroy them from a distance or stun them with imps before engaging. Hi, this is a gameplay video. Just to mention, this is the loadout I used for my commander, it could have been better optimized, since this was a real struggle for me. Now with the main objectives, the enemy commander and factory are located in the bottom left corner of the map. Keep the commander in the back or send it out with a few repair bots for the bonus objectives, I will build the plus 4 conjurers and queue up 4 imps. And the enemy impaler at the start of the session, will be around the bottom right corner of the map, until it destroys all defenses and radar. If it has done that, it will go to the right of the base. My main strategy for this mission, is and was to rush my commander with a couple conjurers to destroy enemy defenses and economy. While building a second factory mainly for Ronins which will be used to destroy the impeller and hopefully into the heart of the enemy base. The impeller part worked out but it became in the end of tug of war and only won with my last desperate attack.
Celestial Arm. The Celestial Arm was renowned for its lush, varied and fantastically resilient biospheres. Even to this day they remain healthy, after untold centuries of neglect. A fitting testament to the skills of the last great empire to rule this quadrant in the ancient days, the Celestial Dominion. These unmatched master terraformers tended to their worlds for thousands of years. It is said that they even planned for the death of their sons, and that those biospheres would somehow survive the stars themselves. While its reputation was familiar, I had never been in this quadrant before. How did I end up in its outermost reach?